P uh, Q and R are the points on the circle. If P Q is parallel to S R, prove that P S R is equal to Q S R. Now there's something that, that you might not be aware of. In parallelograms, okay. So I'll give you an example of a parallelogram. I know it's not a parallelogram, but in parallelograms, okay. Uh, give me a standard parallelogram, okay. Now, can anybody tell me what is the red angle plus the blue angle? Yeah, only when it, only when the two lines are parallel. So sum of two interior interior angles. Is that okay? Yeah. Equals 180 degrees. It doesn't necessarily need to be parallel parallelogram, if you get what I'm saying. I could have the other end like that, couldn't I? Yeah. And I could uh, what's that word? Tip X that part out. It's still the uh, the the red angle and the blue angle are still what's that word? When you add them together, they still equal 180. So remember that, all right? So we're going to use that to do this question, is what I think is going to happen. All right, so we know that this is parallel to this one. I'm going to name off some angles. PSR, I'm going to call you angle one. Uh, QRS, you're going to be called angle two. You can be angle three, and you can be angle four. Is that all right? Uh, so you can say angles number that shown is I think what is what somebody was saying. Uh, in diagram. Okay. It might be good to say that that you're using the numbers in the diagram. Okay. They they should know though, right? And then what we might say is PSR to prove what? Angle one equals angle two. Prove angle one equals angle two. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to say is that, uh, okay, so what I'm going to say first is that uh, angle 3 plus angle 2 equals 180 degrees. Why? Opposite, well, opposite angles in a cyclic, quadrilateral. Okay. No matter how many times I spell quadrilateral, it's always a, it's always a, a struggle for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, with that? Yeah. All right. Next thing I'm going to say is angle one equals angle. Uh, angle one, uh, angle one, plus angle three equals what? Reason being. No, nope. sum of two interior angles equals 180 degrees, okay? Now, uh, if you aren't sure about that, uh, okay, guys, now next thing we're going to do is this. Next thing we're going to say is that, therefore, uh, angle one must equal angle two. Proven, isn't it? It wasn't too bad in the end, but you need you needed that knowledge to do it. Okay. Now uh, we're going to go for question four. It's a cyclic quadrilateral. Prove to ABC which one's ABC. We'll go for angle one and CDE. Angle two is that okay? I want to prove that angle one equals angle two. Oh man, this is easy. <coughs> Sorry to say that. I know I know it's not, but. I'm just after seeing it and I can do it in two lines. Okay? So, to prove. Okay. Cyclic quadrilateral, what do you think that will mean? Angle one equals angle three, reason being? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm. I'm so I'm feeling lazy there, so I'm just going to use that again. Okay. Now what are we going to do after that then? Angle 2 plus angle 3 equals... Oh, sorry, sorry. I got the first one wrong. It's uh, angle 1 plus angle 3 equals... 
and angle two plus angle three equals 180 degrees of reason mean? It therefore follows what, that what? And that was exactly what we we wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Are you following it? All right. So sometimes you don't see it, is it? Yeah. Well, that's what the solutions are in Google Classroom, so you can check it out if you're in search. No. <laughs> By and large, the solutions are quite good, quite accurate. All right. What does this mean? PSO triple line PTO. Proved their congruence. Okay. Now, do you want to know how to get a tent mark straight away without doing anything? A S A S S S. Oh, we've got a tent marks. Awesome. Literally, that's how you get a tent marks. Okay. Just write down the four ways you can prove that triangles are congruent. All right, and you'll get a tent mark straight off the bat. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm going to start off with the common sides, PO. Is everybody happy that PO is the common side? Yeah. Huh? Does that mean blind? No, A means angle side, angle. Oh. So, for those of you that don't remember, if I have a triangle and I prove that all three sides are the same, I'm going to do this again, it's okay. If I prove that all three sides are the same, they're congruent. If I then prove that side, angle, side, two sides and the angle in between are the same, it means they're congruent. If I prove uh, ASA, angle, side, angle, they're congruent. And finally, the one we're going to use in this one, I think we're going to use RHS. And I'll tell you why we're going to use RHS straight away. I know that angle 1 and angle 2 are 90 degrees. Why? So you need a right angle. It has to be the hypotenuse and any other side. So let's do this in order. Uh, which one does angle 2 belong to? Angle 2 equals angle 1, about 90 degrees due to PS and PT being tangents, is it? Okay. Uh, H, so we have R. Now what's H? Uh, common side, isn't it? PO equals PO. And there's two sides that are exactly the same. Radius. Radius. OS equals OT. And the reason that is? Yes. Yeah. Uh, triangles PSO and triangle PTO are congruent. Oh, sorry, that question, one sec, one sec. By R H S. Oh, sorry, there's a part two on that last one, was there? Alright. Prove that the angle uh, TPR. I have to go back a few steps. What did I call this again? Angle. Uh, angle one. Angle two on top, angle one on the bottom? Yeah. Grant. Shh. Prove that TPR. T to P to R, which we'll now call angle 3, equals 2 times T O P. T to O. T O P. That's angle 2, is it? Oh, angle 4, thank you. Hey, let's go for it. Uh, I think I think I think we I think we have it. Uh, okay. Now, there's something good about this one as well. I'm going to call this angle 5 and this one. Now, I, I, I have a route. I have a route to getting this done. All right, and here it is. Okay. What I'm first going to say is that uh, uh, I'm looking to prove what? Angle 3 equals 2 angle 4. Yeah. Looking to prove angle 3 equals 2 times angle 4. Is that kill cool, you guys? All right. So, I think what I'm looking at is... I am looking at trying to do. Oh, we know they're 90 degrees, don't we? We know the angles are equal and all the sides are equal. Yeah, so we know that uh, angle 5 equals angle 6. Why? Uh, corresponding angles in congruent triangles. I, I'm sure you'll say corresponding angles. 
Okay, they're the same angle in two equal triangles. Okay, uh, I can also say that uh, angle five plus angle four is what? Huh? Ninety. Now, once again, I currently don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just writing down stuff until something appears to me. Okay. Now, what can I say about angle three plus angle five plus angle six? Huh? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, as angle one equals ninety degrees. Okay. What can I say? One hundred eighty degrees. Why? Okay, now this is where we're going to see what we can do. Uh, can, I, can I replace angle 6 with angle 5? So we get angle 3 plus 2 times. Angle 3 plus 2 times. Angle 5, is that okay? Yeah. Now, what doesn't belong there? I'd love to have an equation with thus angle 3 and angle 4, wouldn't I? That'd be awesome. But I can get that equation right here. Look at it. Isolate angle 5 on its own. So what do I get? Angle 5 equals 90 degrees take away. And what am I going to do? What am I going to do next? Sub it in. Angle 3 plus 2 times 90 degrees take away. Got it. As I said, I didn't have a clue how to do it until I got here. Didn't have a clue where I was going. Literally just wrote it all down and then go, I'd love to get angle four in this equation. How do we do it? Uh, sorry, I don't think you need the two times angle. I, I, I get that. Just give me, give me a sec. Oh, sorry, sorry, here. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, the angle four. Thanks, Connor. All right. So angle three plus 180. I was one step ahead of myself. And now I'm to the 180s. And now what we have? Or just move the two angle forward to your side. Yeah. That's what I was asked to do, wasn't it? Yeah. Done. Uh, no doubt there might be other ways to do this, so we'll have a look at them. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, Charlie, do you want to tell me what numbers you use so we can help out, so you can follow it? Uh, I didn't use numbers. <laughs> okay, I'll do it my own way then. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you have the angles, don't you? Yeah. D A B is eighty. Okay, boys. I was on wrong. One sec, sir. One sec, sir. One sec. One sec, sir. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so D A B is eighty. A C B fifty. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. A C B. Did I get the first one right? D A B R. So that's uh, 50? Yeah. Alright lads. Uh, because it has to add up to 180. So because, uh, yeah, in a way it's almost handier to leave as letters. D A B plus, uh, what's it, D C B equals 180 degrees. And what you can say is that, uh, you can say that it's uh, D A B is 80 degrees. DCB is a uh, DCA. DCA plus 50 degrees equals 180 degrees. So what can we say about DCA? 50 degrees as well, yeah? Okay, 50 degrees. Alright. Prove that AD it's the same as A to B. I want to prove that this is an isosceles triangle, don't I? Yeah. Would that make sense? I want to prove that it's an isosceles triangle. Now, currently, I'm looking at and going, see the way it bisects the top one? See the way it cuts a 50-50? Does that mean it'll also bisect the bottom one 40-40? Yeah. Does it though? Does, does, it, does it completely 100% mean that? All right. Book doesn't use that way, so we'll work with this. Uh, 
I'm sure there's something I'm not seeing. Does it say anything about any of them being parallel to each other? No. No. All right. Shh. Trying to get this into my head. Are any of them standing on the same arc as each other? Oh, there we go. There we go. Do you know what we're going to use? Oh, yeah, by the way, this is a question I wouldn't have got right in the test. I don't think I would have found it. Sir, why can't you say it's not Can I just show you how the book does it? Then I'll take your method into consideration. No, it's not method. Just let me finish my thought, otherwise I lose my thought very quickly on this. All right, lads. Remember earlier that remember we said that if this is an angle of uh, 50, yeah, and if I draw another one on the same arc, so if I draw any other one, oh, if I draw any other other point on the same arc, what does that mean? Also 50. Also 50. So what I'm saying here is that uh, C uh, C C C uh, angle uh, A C B. Yeah? yeah? See the way ACB is 50? Yeah. I could also claim that ADB is also 50 because it's standing on the same arc. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So angle ADB is the same as angle ACB it equals 50 degrees and I have to write down the language. Uh, angle uh, I will do in a second. I'm going to stand on, on the same arc. Okay. Now, uh, Connor's ahead of me there. Connor's going to say, we're going to say that, uh, we're going to say that, oh, for, okay. So, uh, see this, uh, once again, let me finish it, and then I'll take questions on any alternate routes or any questions you have. Lads, why can I say the angle uh, ABD is 50 degrees? Because the angle ABD plus the angle BDA plus what? DAB. What do they all have to add up to? 180. And what do we know then? Because we know that one of them is 50. Which one do we know? Uh, that's 50. That's 80. Therefore, the angle ABD must be what? What, what, what must ABD be? Huh? Uh, would you stop for a minute? Just let me finish. Oh, you understand there's several different ways of doing it. Okay? So the answer ABD is 50 degrees. This means the triangle, uh, the triangle ABD is isosceles. And hence, what does that mean? AD equals BD. Okay, now I'm going to check all the different ways I could have done this better, lads.